Hey folks, welcome back. We're playing more of The Walking Dead. If you guys have been here with, with me on Twitch, then of course you haven't gone anywhere in this. No time has passed, but for everybody on YouTube, a day or two may have. As I haven't figured out the schedule <laughs> yet. But I will. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's dive right back into it. Because I'm sure the folks on Twitch are wanting to get back. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and resume. Uh, are you safe? safe? I'm outside in my tree house. Ah. Can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh, the babysitter. <laughs> oh. Oh, that looks painful. That... No. I don't care if it's dead. I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit. No, nope. okay. Okay. Wow. Man. This game I is intense. <laughs> I like it. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Mm. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh We need to find help before it gets dark. Yes. Yeah. It's not safe at night. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Close to me. So we don't even loot the house. Oh. I did kind of want to go to the house. Okay. We still haven't... I still have, like, this bleeding leg. And now we're gonna just leave. So I can... Man. Uh. Oh, are those real people? I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's yeah. That's a good idea. And then we can get him back and leave them a note. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Oh. This is Clementine. Atlanta. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. 
How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We, we go. need to go. That's what we need to do. Leave me quick. Let's go. Man, this guy can do a lot on that bum leg. Although, I guess when your life is in danger, there's this thing called not wanting to die. <laughs> yeah, you need to throw something else for you. So I hope I noticed the big guy doesn't bother helping me. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Yeah, well, you know. What else do you do when somebody's in trouble, right? I like this game so far. I mean, it's creeping me right out, but I like it. Uh, this is gonna lag a while. Oh no, wait, this has gotta be his farm, right? So, it's going to be safe here. Ish. For now, right? Yeah. Well, at least there's another vehicle here. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mom is gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Okay. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So yeah, it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I'm guessing we're sleeping in the barn. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. This is gonna hurt. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so... Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. Yeah. We, de we <laughs> definitely ain't telling him. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. 
I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Wow. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, a do couple? what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Yeah. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come yeah. tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Yeah, so let's go to the creepy barn for the night. I mean, I've slept like in a barn, but... I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> I missed my mom and dad. Yeah. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I can't help but wonder if the, the lip tremble that I see going on is supposed to be there. Or if it's just a graph graphical <laughs> Okay, then. I don't know what that was about. I mean, I assume that was hey, his wife. Get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you yeah. slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, what a little offense! There's a tractor and everything! <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> the word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure. sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Yeah. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. <laughs> he says he wants to build a fence now. Your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, I'm I'm in control now. Okay. Um. Can. I mean, fences. Fence is really the thing. Wait, this is the fence. Oh, be sure to check in with everyone you met so far. Seems like those two are getting along. He seems like an all right dude. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be I mean, great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. What's the length? Well, apparently this is the length. 
My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. Yeah. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. I don't think that's, that's gonna probably be the all case. I need cut for now. Thanks. This is the fence. Think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> how you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> well, the kids got the foreman job down, right? Okay, so probably nothing in there. Can we... Nope, we can't. Okay. And now my wife is trying to text me. Oh, apparently our daughter is running a fever. Well, that means I might get a call from the school at some point, but not right now. So, well, let's it's not look. the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Right, this is the second vehicle we found. Oh, so. Hey there, oh, uh, we're talk Kenny. To him. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's yeah. biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Okay. As long as the boy doesn't change, everything's cool. Okay, well, I guess... I don't know. Can I talk to these two? Yes, yes, I can. Hey there, girls. 
You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, ah. uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's ah. peaceful here, no? That's true. Oh. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we yeah. just passed people over some. Just, just... Oh. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? My last thought I had before seeing any of what happened was of those wrinkly Sharpays I see at the clinic. <laughs> I want to go right back to thinking about that silly dog. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Ah. I'm partial here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Normal would be good, but I don't think so. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, and uh, that's a great little transition. And we're going to go ahead and end, the th end off this episode for YouTube. If you're on Twitch, just stick around. Uh, we'll get right back into it. But for YouTube... You're going to have to wait a day. I'm sure I'm at this point. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do them every day. And um, yeah. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. This I always throw out. I got to get out. I was like, there we go.